Booting your Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 400 from USB SSD drive is getting a way more easier than before but it still requires several manual steps and this is exactly what I'll show you in this video the easiest, official and stable way to boot a Raspberry Pi from SSD no shuffling and straight to the point coming up What's up, Kiryu Payaskis here. As I already told you, we are not going to waste any time here and we are going straight to the things that you will need to successfully boot your Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 400 from SSD. You will need a micro SD card just for the initial part, but we will remove it later. You will also need a compatible USB SSD drive or SATA to USB adapter and SATA SSD. I have a table with SSD disks reported to be working by you and me in the video description below. Apparently you need a Raspberry Pi 4 with any amount of RAM or Raspberry Pi 400. Raspberry Pi OS is also needed and the easiest way to do that is to insert the SD card into a computer or reader to download and install Raspberry Pi Imager to select Raspberry Pi OS and your SD card as destination and to write the Raspberry Pi OS to the micro SD card After writing is completed you can create an empty file called SSH with no extension in the root folder of your SD card This file is only needed if you intend to connect to your Raspberry Pi over the network and not to use a monitor, keyboard or mouse then you have to unplug and plug the card in your Raspberry Pi and power it up when the Raspberry Pi boot in its operating system start the terminal or connect to your Raspberry Pi over SSH and be ready for some console fun that I am about to show you right now I'll connect to my Raspberry using this command I'll type yes and the default password is Raspberry and I'm good to go Update your Raspberry Pi OS and firmware by type the following I'll execute first sudo apt update after that sudo apt full upgrade I don't have any packages to be upgraded, so I'll continue with sudo rp update. I would like to proceed. One minute later. A reboot is needed to activate the new firmware. Okay, I'll do that. The Raspberry Pi is now rebooted, so I'll connect again. Install the latest boot ROM. And now paste the following command sudo rpi e prom update minus d minus a and I'll hit enter. In my case, the bootloader is up to date, otherwise, it will be updated. So make sure that you execute this command. Launch the Raspi config tool to select some important but easy settings. After that, I will execute sudo raspi config. Go to advanced options, boot loader version and make sure that latest is selected here. Reset boot ROM to defaults, click no and OK. After that go again to advanced options but this time choose boot order. Select USB boot, click OK. And now you can exit the Raspi config by clicking finish. Would you like to reboot? No for now. And now you have to clone your SD card over the USB device. The best way to do that is to use the SD card copier from the Raspberry Pi user interface. Now launch the SD card copier from the accessories section. Plug in the USB drive into your Raspberry Pi and click on the Raspberry Pi icon, Accessories, SD card copier. Copy from device, select your SD card. It's usually starting with MMC something. This will be the source. 
and copy to device, select the USB drive, don't check this new partition and click start. Yes. And the process should take around 10 to 20 minutes. After cloning is complete. Shut down the Raspberry Pi and throw away your SD card. Don't throw anything except a like and power up the Raspberry with SSD only. After a while my Raspberry Pi started its operating system from the USB drive. In my case it's an SSD. You now know how to boot your Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 400 from USB SSD drive. Make sure that you hit the subscribe, like and bell buttons if you enjoyed this video. Except the comment section below, you can find me on Twitter or in my Discord server. And don't forget, home smart but not hard. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.